I'm Ben from Cambridge Audio. Today I'm here to tell you even more about USB audio and how to get the most from Windows. USB audio is an audio connection which is used to send digital music from a computer to a DAC. We've seen that audio is sent as packets of data down the USB cable to the DAC, but with Windows it's what happens before this, inside the computer, that has the biggest impact on sound quality. There are three main parts to any USB audio system. The media player, the driver, and the USB DAC itself. Macs are nice and simple. They support class one and class two USB modes, letting you listen up to 24192 resolution music straight to the DAC. Windows computers are a little bit more complicated, but a few simple steps can be taken to improve the sound quality from Windows, making it as good as a Mac. But first, we need to understand how the Windows audio system works. Kernel streaming is used by Windows to send audio from the media player to the audio driver. The problem with this is at the same time, the Windows kernel is also dealing with Windows sounds, such as mouse clicks and notifications, and other programs which create audio. The audio signal is then mixed in with all of this and gets distorted because of that. When you plug in your USB DAC and select it as the speaker, you'll automatically be using direct sound, a type of Windows kernel streaming. It only works in class one USB mode, so is limited to playing 2496 resolution music through your DAC. It works, but unfortunately direct sound has high amounts of audio distortion, so it's not the ideal setting. Wasapi, which is short for Windows Audio Session Application Programming Interface, is another type of kernel streaming. Wasapi still only works in Class 1 mode and only lets you play up to 2496 music, but it sounds much better than direct sound because it keeps the audio signal separate and doesn't mix it with Windows sounds. But to use Wasapi, you need to use a media player like Fubar 2000 or J River which supports it, and then select Wasapi as the output setting. Otherwise, you'll still be using direct sound. iTunes, Spotify, etc. can't be used with Wasapi because they don't support it. ASIO, or Audio Streaming In-Out, is another method of audio transport, but this time it's not kernel streaming. ASIO bypasses the Windows kernel altogether and avoids any of the audio distortion caused there. It effectively gives a direct path, free from audio distortion, directly to the USB driver. SIO works in USB Class 2 mode only, so you need to install the free Cambridge Audio Class 2 driver from our website iTunes, Spotify, etc. can't be used with ASIO because they don't support it. But you can use a media player like Fubar 2000 or J River, which does support it, and just select ASIO as the output setting. Using ASIO is better than all Windows kernel streaming methods, as it delivers far better sound thanks to lower jitter, lower latency, and has no mixing of audio streams and Windows sounds. Because it works in Class 2 mode with the Cambridge Audio USB driver, it also allows you to send up to 24192 resolution music to your DAC. So using ASIO brings a Windows computer up to the same audio performance level as a Mac.